What if I told you that Nvidia and Intel, two of the biggest names in tech, are teaming up to build the ultimate AI PC? They've got a $5 billion plan that could change everything about how our computers think, learn and create. And their secret weapon might just surprise you. The $5 billion bet. So, here's what's happening. NVIDIA is investing $5 billion in Intel. Yes, NVIDIA, the king of GPUs, is betting big on Intel, a company that's been struggling to stay on top in recent years. According to NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, this partnership will create Intel x86 chips that integrate NVIDIA GPU chiplets, basically a single piece of hardware that combines Intel's powerful CPUs with NVIDIA's legendary graphics. Huang described it as fusing the world's best CPU and GPU. If that sounds like a big deal, it is. Because this could give Intel the spark it desperately needs to bounce back. And it could also help Nvidia solve one of its biggest weaknesses in the AI world. The real goal, AI PC dominance. Now, this partnership isn't just about faster graphics or better gaming, it's about dominating the AI PC market. AI PCS, computers designed to run artificial intelligence tools locally, are the next big thing. Every tech company, from Apple to AMD to Qualcomm, is fighting to win this space. NVIDIA already rules when it comes to AI hardware and GPU compute performance, but there's a catch, a serious limitation that's been holding it back. It's called VRAM bottlenecking. Let me explain. The memory problem. Imagine you have a high-end PC with an Intel CPU and an NVIDIA GPU. The CPU uses the system's RAM, which sits on your motherboard. The GPU, meanwhile, uses its own VRAM, which is built into the graphics card. Whenever they need to share data, it has to move back and forth between the CPU's RAM and the GPU's VRAM, and that's slow. For gaming, this isn't a big deal. For example, an RTX 5080 with 16 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for most modern games. But when it comes to AI workloads, like running large language models or doing deep learning, this becomes a massive problem. AI models need huge amounts of memory, and the GPU's VRAM acts as the workspace for all that data. So if your GPU only has 16 gigabytes or even 32 gigabytes of VRAM, that's the limit of what you can do, no matter how fast your GPU is or how much RAM your PC has. You could have a computer with 128 gigabytes of RAM, but if your GPU only has 16 gigabytes of VRAM, you're stuck. This memory gap is why local AI models on desktops often struggle and why Nvidia's next move with Intel is so interesting. The secret weapon, unified memory. Here's where things get exciting. What if your computer's CPU and GPU could share the same pool of memory? No more moving data back and forth. No more wasted time or limited VRAM. That's called unified memory and it's the secret weapon that could help Nvidia and Intel win the AI PC war. With unified memory, the CPU and GPU don't have separate memory pools. Instead, they both access the same system memory, making communication faster and far more efficient. And here's the kicker, it would also dramatically expand how much memory the GPU can use. Instead of being limited to 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM, it could potentially use all 128 gigabytes or more of your system memory. That's a huge leap forward for running large AI models locally. Now, Nvidia and Intel haven't officially announced unified memory yet, but there are hints, big ones. The hints are there. In their announcement, Nvidia said that Intel will build x86 SoCs, system on chips, that integrate Nvidia RTX GPU chiplets. Intel also confirmed that the two companies will focus on seamlessly connecting NVIDIA and Intel architectures using NVLink. If you've been following NVIDIA's data center products, that should sound familiar because NVLink C2C, used in NVIDIA's high-end server chips, already allows CPUs and GPUs to share memory. So, while NVIDIA and Intel aren't saying unified memory out loud yet, all the signs point in that direction. They're talking about creating a virtual giant SoC, where the CPU and GPU work as one, connected by ultra-fast NVIDIA link. And guess what? Every major chip company that's currently winning in AI computing already uses shared or unified memory. Apple, AMD, and Qualcomm already have it. 
Let's look at the competition for a second. Apple Silicon, for example, is famous for its unified memory design. A MacBook with 128 gigabytes of unified memory lets both the CPU and GPU use that same memory pool. That's why a MacBook can sometimes outperform a high-end Windows PC with a much faster GPU, because it isn't limited by VRAM. AMD also uses a similar system with its APU architecture, where CPU and GPU share system memory. Qualcomm's Snapdragon X platform and Intel's own Lunar Lake chips also use shared memory setups, so everyone else has already moved to this model. But here's the problem, none of them have NVIDIA's GPU power or its CUDA ecosystem, which is the gold standard for AI compute tasks. CUDA is what most AI software is built for. Apple, AMD and Qualcomm have great memory architectures, but they don't have CUDA or NVIDIA level GPU performance. That's the gap NVIDIA is trying to close. If NVIDIA and Intel can combine unified memory with NVIDIA's GPU strength and CUDA, they'll have a system that could blow past everything else on the market. What's coming next? NVIDIA and Intel haven't confirmed unified memory yet, but the way they describe this partnership makes it sound inevitable. They're building something that seamlessly connects their architectures with on-package integration and new classes of integrated graphics, the same kind of language Apple, AMD and Qualcomm used when introducing shared memory systems. Analysts expect the first Intel NVIDIA SoC around 2027, with more advanced versions to follow, likely moving closer to full unified memory. If this works out, it could transform how AI PCS are built. NVIDIA already leads in data centers, but in consumer PCs, Apple and AMD are catching up. Unified memory could give NVIDIA and Intel the boost they need. Combining NVIDIA's GPU power with Intel's CPUs for smaller, faster, more affordable AI PCS that run large models locally without cloud support. Faster performance, better privacy, lower costs, that's the vision. To recap, NVIDIA is investing $5 billion in Intel to create new SoCs that merge Intel CPUs with NVIDIA GPU chiplets. They haven't said unified memory, but everything, including NVIDIA's NVLink tech, points there. If they succeed, it could unlock NVIDIA's full AI potential beyond data centers and into everyday PCS. Because in the AI PC war, speed isn't everything, memory is the real battlefield and unified memory might just be the secret weapon that helps NVIDIA and Intel win it all. So, what do you think? Will NVIDIA and Intel pull it off? Are we looking at the future of AI PCS or just another overhyped collaboration? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives